Duke is our guest, otherwise known to you as Patty Duke. <laughs> We're laughing here. We're <laughs> laughing because aside from this kind of work that we do together, we work together at the Screen Actors Guild. And Sumi is the secretary, the national secretary. They're very attached to that parent who's been abusive to them. I relate to that very strongly because to this day, I have had to recognize that I love these people. You love them, and speaking of abused, one night you found yourself with one on each side of you in bed. Yeah. Uh, again, this, this was a lot of years down the road. Uh, they had been abusing alcohol and prescription drugs uh, that weren't even prescription. They were sent to them by friends from somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, things like Valium and Stelazine and Thorazine and drugs. They had no concept uh, of the dangers about... At any rate, they were doing a lot of that stuff and, and not noticing. And uh, I think this began to eat away, uh, not only at their brain cells, but at their, at their souls. And this incident, uh, which happened a few times, uh, only a few, thank God, uh, that I find, of course, abhorrent. Um, I also can accept that someone that crazy on alcohol and pills loses track of, of all kinds of morality and, and uh, behaves in a way that they wouldn't dream of behaving. But that was something that you repressed for many, many years. I want to do something here that I ordinarily don't do, and that's, Patrick, I want to talk directly to the audience, because my illness was so severe, as I said, there was a, a tumor on my lung and it was malignant. And I hope none of you ever have to go through what I did when I was lying in uh, intensive care after my operation. And my father, who was 83 years old, came and looked at me and he was weeping. I mean, he and my two daughters came and, and they were weeping. And I don't ever want to put anybody through that, have you ever. ever. Have you ever told that on the air publicly before now? Never. I see. And it's, it's horrendous. Um, people should stop if they've started. And if they've never started, they should never start. I mean, it's horrendous. It, it really is the scariest thing, the most painful thing that has ever happened to me. I'm glad you told me. Anyway, in closing, what are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to sit with you and absorb that information you just, you know, gave out there. That was powerful. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. Thank you for being with us. You know what I want to know? What? How come you can sing about love so well? Love is universal. That's, 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 that's not hard to sing about love, if you believe is in love. Is it experience, Lou? Oh, see. See. <laughs> oh, see that? Yeah. Some of it. Yeah. Some of it. I say some of it. Yeah, some of it is experience. And then some of it is just from observing others, you yeah. know. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what I mean, you know? I mean, because when you sing, mm. we all relate to it. Yes. Like, you've been there where we've been. Hello. Yes, I have. I've been there in, in many situations, but again, I have to revert to it's from observing others uh -huh. as well, you yeah. see, because, uh, you know, you always run into people saying, man, my old lady just dropped a hammer on me, boy, you know, <laughs> or, or she says, I just don't understand. I don't know why he don't want to make a commitment to me, you know, that's kind of stuff. Well, hey, so you take all of that and you formulate all of that, and then you come up with, you find a song, you find, you know, some lyrics that sort of speak that mm -hmm. so you think about these people that you know that are experiencing that and you feel for them yes so you kind of try mm -hmm. to translate that feeling into what well, does he oh so me give me a break yeah. hey <laughs> <laughs> we you just know? relate to you lou that's all, all i'm right. saying yeah, hey i thank you for being here on weekend gallery and, and we want everybody to watch the lou rawls parade of stars tonight mm. at 8 p.m <laughs> Good morning. This is Weekend Gallery, and it's Sunday, September 18th. I'm Sumi Haru, and this is Larry McCormick. Good morning, Sumi. Hi, Larry. We're sitting in for Wanda Moore and Dennis Prager, who have the weekend off. In a recent drug bust, police were accused of causing unnecessary damage to four apartments. The Red Cross provided emergency food and shelter for the residents. Well, two of the tenants will be with us today, and we'll hear their story. 
Do as I say, not as I do, is the message of the play Cuba and His Teddy Bear about a junkie and his son. The director and the star will discuss the questionable father-son relationship. The Proposition 99 for tobacco tax, if passed, could make our state a haven for cigarette bootleggers. That's what some say. Proponents of the measure say the tobacco industry's scare tactics will not work. We'll look at both sides of that proposition in the second half of our program today. We could inadvertently poison the people at our dinner table if meat and poultry aren't stored or prepared properly. We'll have some useful tips for keeping food safe. And after this brief break, Sumi's going to be back with her guests on the subject of police misconduct. <laughs> 